Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today we are going to check out this 32 color acrylic paint set that Chocola sent to me to review and to share with you guys. I'm really excited to check out this paint set. A lot of the watercolor and mixed media artists that I follow on Instagram and here on YouTube are doing a lot with acrylic paints and mixing acrylic paints with other medium in their artwork. And I really wanted to get into acrylic paints. Most of my acrylic paint experience to date has been in crafting. And so it's been buying like the Martha Stewart acrylic paints and the Michaels brand acrylic paints to do craft projects with my kiddo or for myself. And so I'm excited to get a paint set of acrylic paints that I can use for art. Now I did do a share of the Chocola gouache paint set and this set is gonna be very similar, but this is acrylic paints and that was gouache paints. But I will put a link in the cards up above if you wanna check that one out as well. But one of the things that I like about the Chocola product is that they can be used for any level. So if you're a crafter or just a hobbyist, you could use these, or if you're an artist, because they do include light fastness, opacity, and also the pigment information for their paints, which I think is awesome. So this is the back of the container and it has little swatches of all the colors in the set. It provides the light fastness. That's what the little plus symbols on there are. It provides the opacity. That's what the little circle is. And then it has the pigment information for each paint. So you have all that information readily available on the back of the package. And it does come with the paints, but it also comes with some tools to get you started in using the paints. So if you look at the side of the box, you get 10 brushes, a palette knife, a palette, and a sponge. These are the same accessories that you get in the gouache set. And I did mention on that video that I do think that the accessories to this are more craft or hobbyist level, but I don't mind that because the paints are really what you're buying. The rest is just kind of bonus. And we always need these things for school projects and holiday projects and things like that. So it never hurts to have more brushes or a plastic palette, a sponge, and a palette knife. And palette knives are really great even if you don't do art. They're awesome for stickers as well if you use stickers in your planners. If you use undo and you're trying to remove a sticker that you put down crooked or that you put down in the wrong place, you can use the palette knife to help get that off of the page and it's quite helpful. It does come with a palette knife. You can see there. And then the sponge. And then this is the brush set and I am going to use one of these brushes today because we're going to swatch out these paints. So I'm going to open it up, you get a wide variety of different brushes, even a fan brush. And then you get a little plastic palette. My kiddo actually took the one out of the gouache set. I'm sure he's going to commandeer this one as well. But it has a thumb hole if you want to use that has little wells to put your paint in and to mix colors in. We're not gonna use this today, but I did wanna share it. And then you get nice big 22 milliliter tubes of acrylic paint. This one is gold, it's made out of mica. You get two titanium whites, which is awesome because that is a color in acrylic paint that you go through a lot based on everything that I've watched on videos from different artists. And you have two rows of colors there. What we're going to do today is we're going to swatch them out. So I think I'm going to use this brush. Let's see. Which brush do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this brush today for swatching. I'm going to put the sponge and the palette knife aside. We're actually going to use these in another video in the future. So I will be using actually the sponge in that video and maybe the palette knife. We're going to put those aside for now. I do have a water cup with a paint puck in the bottom so that we can clean my brush. I have a little rag to wipe my brush on. I have already gone ahead, and this is actually a mixed media journal from Canson. I've gone ahead and made a little swatch chart. So I have Chocola acrylic set written here so that I remember what set this is. I've labeled all of the little boxes that I kind of sketched out. And then I put a box here with the little black squiggle so that we can check out the opacity of the titanium white. So real quick before we start, I'm gonna put all of these paints in the order that I have them in the swatch chart. That way it's just easier to go through and swatch and then we will start swatching. All right, so I have all of the paints in the order that I wrote them on the little swatch chart. I actually don't know why I wrote them in the order that I did because it wasn't the order that was in the package. 
and it wasn't the order that was on the back either. I have no idea how I came up with this order or how I got there. It's not in any sort of actual organized fashion. It's just the order that I wrote them down. Now I'm not going to take the paints out and put them on a palette and then put them on the paper and swatch like that. I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of the paint and put it on the paper and swatch that way, mostly because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean a palette and I just think it will be faster and easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this sideways just so you guys can see the whole thing on the screen. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna swatch out all of the colors and I'm gonna put this to music and then we will come back and we will check them out together.
so I have swatched out all of the colors. I'm just going to kind of pan so you can check them out. They're still wet, so we are gonna come back in a little bit when they're dry and check them out again. But I think this is a really nice set. It comes with a lot of colors to get you started. It has some metallics, which is nice. It has some convenience colors. It's got your primary colors. It's a really good palette, I think, to get started in acrylic paint and just a nice base. And then you could add open stock from other brands and kind of curate your own palette to the colors that you really love and use the most. I think it's a really good starter set in acrylic paints. They are very, very creamy. The colors are super vibrant and pigmented. I think they're much nicer than the craft brands that I found at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and places like that. And I'm really excited to try them out in some art. So I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit and then I will come back and we will check them out dry, see how they look. It does look like they may dry matte. A lot of them don't really have a lot of shine on them. A lot of times acrylic paints are very shiny, whereas acrylic gouache is more matte. And so it looks like quite a few of these are gonna dry matte, which I like because I prefer a matte finish than a shiny finish. So I think that's also gonna be a nice touch, but let's let them dry and then we will check them out. All right, so let's go ahead and check these out. We have Scarlet Red, Rose Matter, cobalt blue, raw umber, and silver. Then Mars black, raw sienna, ultramarine blue, rose, Indian yellow, which I love, Naples yellow, crimson red, phthalo blue, sap green, Payne's gray, which is so pretty. I'm not normally a Payne's gray person, but I love the blue in that. We have copper, which is a metallic, viridian green, violet, ultramarine violet, and gold, another metallic, yellow ochre, light red ochre, mauve pale, phthalo green, and burnt sienna. And then we have burnt umber, Prussian blue, I wrote light apricot here because that's the name that was on the back of the box when I made the swatches, but it's actually flesh tint. So I think they renamed their color. Vermilion red, lemon yellow, and then we have the titanium white. So you can see the coverage there. I think these are really, really pretty. I don't think that the brushes are the highest quality. I think they're gonna be great for crafting and they'll be great for my kiddo, but I probably won't use these in my art. I actually do have a set of acrylic brushes that my sister gifted me that are in like a little zipper case. If I can figure out how to unzip it. So she gifted me this set of acrylic paint brushes. And so I'm going to probably use those when I paint with these, but it's always good, at least in our household, to have paint brushes because we're always doing some sort of craft or school project. And so we get a lot of use out of paint brushes. And so I appreciate that we got those. But that's my video on this acrylic paint set from Chocola. I really like these paints. I love that they are 22 milliliter tubes, so you get a lot of paint in each tube. I think it's a really good color set. I just think it's a nice set to start out with. I know at some point I'll start curating my own set of acrylic paints in colors that I absolutely love, the ones that I use the most, and in different brands, including some professional brands. But I like that I have this set to kind of start me out because I have plenty of colors to get started. And these are going to be awesome to use in my journals and my sketchbooks. So I'm really excited. If you have any questions or comments about anything I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget to just scribble.